I wonder how many people go into churches and they make the church people uncomfortable. And let me just tell you, if you're here today and you're not a religious person, you're here today, you don't know what you believe about Jesus, you're here today, you've never read one verse of the Bible, you're here today and you're coming off some kind of sin that you think, oh my God, if they possibly knew, they would throw me out on uh, you know, out in the parking lot, if they possibly knew my past, and if they knew what I did in college, and if they knew what I did in high school, and if they knew what I did last night, they would, I'm just, let me tell you, if you're here today, and you feel anything other than acceptance and love, that's our fault. It's not God's. That's on us. Jesus was simply not uncomfortable. And I would tell you, because some of you grew up in a divorced family and the church didn't know what to do with you, and it says right there in the scripture that if you remarry, you're an adulterer, and blah, blah, and you thought, oh, you've, well, you are welcome. Jesus felt very comfortable around people that were nothing like him. He just wanted a chance to extend the invitation of grace so that they might follow him. And see, we think grace has a load limit. The grace is okay up to a point. But if you knew my story or if you knew that story, I'm telling you, Paul, grace has a load limit and I've exceeded it and you've exceeded it and we've exceeded it and he's exceeded it and my mama exceeded it and my daddy exceeded it. Somebody's exceeded it, but it has a load limit. And it seems so impossible for us to be able to live like that and to pay out grace. And so if it's impossible for us to do it, maybe it must be impossible for God to do it. And Jesus gathers up this grace group of sinners and says, nope, follow me. What do we have to do? No, follow me. We don't have to sign like a deal or something. Nope. Follow me. 